In this video, I'm going to address a viewer's question. Um, my friend Mosin here has asked, uh, he has a question again. Uh, when we submit an answer in Adobe Captivate, we can't come back and change the answer and submit a new answer. Is there a way to withdraw a submitted answer? Um, I'm going to say yes and no. And the reason I'm going to say this is that there is a feature in Adobe Captivate that will allow you to do one final submit uh, of your quiz questions. And then you can, uh, of course, uh, answer them in the order that you wish. Let me show you how you set that up. Um, so I have a basic course here. Um, this is a simple course where we're just simply asking some information about Canada, the country that I'm from, actually. And you can see I've got all my standard stuff on each quiz question. This is a very short quiz. Uh, i got clear, back, next, submit, all that good stuff that you typically find. And then at the end of the course, I, I have a nice little quiz results page. So very simply, you change this a little bit. We don't want to submit every single question but rather we want to submit all once we're ready to proceed. So what I did is I wrote a simple instruction page at the beginning of the quiz, answer all the questions in the quiz. Once you have answered all the questions, click the submit all button to lock in your answers and complete the course. So click next when you're ready to proceed. So to set this up, it's really quite simple. You go into your edit drop down box, Go into Preferences, and that will bring up the Preferences uh, dialog box or window, whatever you want to call it. And you'll see under the Settings for Quiz Questions, there's an option for Submit All. So I'm going to tick this off. Now you'll notice a couple things change on the screen. Um, backward movement. Um, is grayed out and also now there's this option to select submit all messages so let's click that take a look here so once you've completed it will display a message you have answered all the questions what do you want to do next incomplete one or more questions is incomplete answer all questions to continue and submit incomplete you have not answered a few questions yet are you sure you want to proceed without answering these questions? So some helpful uh, tips or hints for the end user to, uh, to see. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to click OK again. And it's going to do some changes. It's taking a, it's, So now, of course, what's happened is some of my captions have disappeared because, of course, they no longer apply. And I have the Submit All button instead of the Submit button. Everything else has pretty much remained the same, though. And uh, so let's run this and see how that works. I'm going to do a preview of the entire project. So just bear with me a moment while it publishes the course for viewing. So here we are. We're on our final quiz instructions page. We'll follow the instructions. We'll hit Next to begin. Uh, what colors are contained in the Canadian flag? Well, I happen to know this uh, question because I live there. It's red and white. So I'm going to hit Next instead. Who is Canada's present Prime Minister? Um, it's Harper, Stephen Harper. Hit next again. Who is Canada's present Head of State? Ah, tricky question. You might think Stephen Harper. But in fact, the head of state of Canada is actually Queen Elizabeth II. And we'll go next. What is the national anthem of Canada? Um, it's not Canada A, it's O Canada. And which country is the largest country by total area in the world? Uh, kind of a trick question. Not usually a fan of these. Uh, you would think Canada because it's a quiz about Canada. Uh, but in fact, it's actually Russia. And I'm going to hit Next. Now, I have this final question. And let's see what happens if I've only answered five out of the six questions if I hit Submit All. 
I get this message again. So one or more questions is incomplete. Answer all questions to continue. Uh, so I still need to do that. The other thing too, and this this is more to uh, Mosin's point, is that because I haven't submitted all, I can go back to those previous questions and change my answer. So that's why I said yes and no. It doesn't really allow me to change in a locked in answer, but this is a way around the whole locking in on each slide. So this would essentially solve Mosin's problem. Let's answer that final question. And we'll say, how many provinces does Canada contain? Canada contains 10 provinces and three territories, interestingly enough. So I'm going to hit submit all. So I get this message now. You have answered all questions. What do you want to do? This is great. This is a fantastic feature, and I'm going to use this in a lot of future courses. This feature was, I believe, introduced in either Captivate 7 or the present version, Captivate 8. Um, but I've never used it before. I knew it was there and, you know, didn't see the value of it. But I'm starting to think, you know, there is some advantage to this. So I'm going to hit Submit All Answers. And then I go to my quiz results page. And as you can see, unfortunately, I got not enough of those answers correct. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video in particular, uh, give it a thumbs up.